Hello and welcome to the mid-month check-in for the sign of Libra. I hope you're doing well, Libra. Thank you so much for being with me. All right, I just came out of meditation and I will say, and, and maybe you're experiencing this and this is a confirmation, um, when spirit wants my attention, my left ear rings and it rang for your reading. So you may be experiencing like some downloads from the divine, or maybe you need to pay attention to what's being shown to you. I heard you've been sowing the seeds around something important to you. Spirit's message for you is don't lose faith as the divine is leading you and aligning elements of your life around this thing that's so important to you perfectly. <laughs> so you could be a little bit frustrated thinking, oh my gosh, everything I'm, I'm doing seems to, you know, stall or backfire. Don't lose faith. I, I feel very strongly that spirit is saying, um, you're right where you need to be. I don't know. Did you have a similar message? I don't remember, but um, for some reason that just came to me. So you're, you're being asked, don't lose sight of that. You know, whatever you've been sowing, <laughs> I just saw one, one, one. Perhaps um, it's about to come to fruition. So Libra, let's take a look at, oh, where do I want to go with this? Yeah, I guess I'll use this deck. Spirit, what do you have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Cross Watcher for mid-June? Door to personal healing and happiness. I think you're about to walk through that door like you're right at the threshold of something uh, that you've been putting a lot of time and effort into. Let's see what comes through for you, Libra. All right, bottom of the deck, Kindred Partnership. A strong soul connection I'm getting okay we have caring connections great achievement deserving discovery hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm getting a really strange energy with this discovery let's um let's look at it let's clarify discovery I'm feeling like um, an examination of someone or of a relationship in some way. Okay, anxiety. Bottom of the deck, storm warning. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just stick with what we have here, but it feels to me like um, you may be looking for the right kind of partner. You may be looking to progress a relationship in a certain way. And I, I feel like something um, related to this discovery and anxiety, it feels like there's something that you're having to overcome and perhaps, um, you know, move it forward or even I'm getting not repeat. If this is about a close relationship, a caring connection, I just saw 333, and you're wanting to further this relationship, I think that there is a period of like delving into um, a person or what you want from your relationship that is an important aspect of this. And maybe the don't lose faith message from Spirit is, we're bringing you, Libra, um, the the right person for you. I, I do feel this is very heavily relationship based and you might be thinking why you know why can't I find a person who is you know complimentary to me and and sure you know relationships are all about lessons not all of them but I feel like you know you might be on the heels of something that's been very difficult and if you're out there dating, you want someone to appreciate you for what you bring to the table. And caring connections is implying that you are aligning with someone who reciprocates in a way that feels good. And, you know, maybe you're even bringing to light something uh, for another person 
um, something important that they learn about you or you've learned about them. I saw 444 also. So there's definitely some signs that Spirit is sending you about this. So let's take a look at what you need to know about what or who is aligning for you, doing what's right. Demonstrate accountability, integrity, and strong character, however uncomfortable. Hmm. This could be somebody coming back into your life. Whoa, I just spilled out three more cards. Um, we have the end. This situation is done. Take with you only what you need to move forward and release the rest. Life review, taking charge, moving cities. That may feel relevant for some of you. Okay, I can leave them out. <laughs> we'll just go there. So, uh, new love connection. I Yes, you're wanting a reciprocal caring connection. You're wanting to be with a person who aligns with you in the best way. I missed this. It fell on the floor. <laughs> life change. Life is about to change in profound ways. So I don't know what this is for you, Libra, or if this is for another person. Um, maybe they're moving towards you. So let's, let's see what's happening for you and who you're connecting with. Six of Wands. I look at that as a display of integrity, um, especially with this doing what's right energy. Ten of Cups. Wow. All right, Libra. What is the message Spirit wants to send you about who's entering your life or your journey in relationships? Oh my gosh. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Six of Wands, Knight of Swords, Nine of Wands. This, this could be new love, Ace of, Ace of um, Cups. Headed in your direction quickly, perhaps. Um, we're going to get some clarifiers, but let's see what else wants to come through. Wow. I feel like this is a relationship that is about reciprocity. This is about, um, you know, giving to one another the need for balance and, you know, equal give and take. Let's look at the clarifying deck. King of Pentacles, who is this person? The Ten of Wands. I am getting a hardworking energy. I saw the two of pentacles. This could be your energy. It doesn't have to represent the person coming into your space, but I feel like it could be the hermit. Hmm. This could be someone who's been alone for a while, I'm hearing. Someone older. communication, movement. This could be someone from your past. This could be someone you have children with, or maybe you knew when you were children. What is the six of wands? There, there is, there is a demonstration happening with this six of wands. What is that? The sun and the two of cups. This could be someone who is coming into your life and bringing a lot of happiness. I do see a child and, you know, for some of you, not all of you, there could be something regarding children that's important, maybe even step parenting. The two of pentacles in reverse. And ordinarily, I don't automatically go to like a juggling energy with this two of pentacles. But I feel like in this particular case, there's almost... Um, a separation from distractions and the focus perhaps is like solely on each other. A wish, the nine of cups, something that makes you really happy. One more, six of wands, sun, the two of pentacles in reverse. There's a lot of emotion. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of compassion. This could be how they view you, how you view them. 
Knight of Swords. Is this something happening quickly? The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. There could be a change in a family situation. There could be someone um, who's had, you know, a loss of finances. Hmm. There could be the sale of a home. Burdens at home. The Page of Swords. King of Swords. Are they making an observation of you or are you doing this? The Nine of Cups, Empress. I don't know if this is situational, this Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and it has to do with something you're recovering from, Six of Pentacles, or, or if this person is. It could be a dynamic between the two of you. doesn't need to be. Why the Nine of Wands for Libra? What's going on there? This this could be their energy, but I, I feel like there's there's some cautious optimism and perseverance happening here. Knight of Wands. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. We may have another relationship happening here. This could also be the, the desire for you know, long-term partnership, but it must be based on, you know, an independent passion for a relationship and not codependence, not a financial dependence, perhaps. What is the Six of Pentacles? You know, if this has been a history, I think you're looking for um, the right kind of connection that supports you. This, this, very well could be some sort of a reflection on the past. And it could have to do with someone you've been involved with, Ten of Swords. Maybe this has been um, a sense of, you know, strife in your relationship. You might have been betrayed. Moving forward, moving on. One more. The Chariot, yeah, definitely moving forward, moving on. And the Two of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. So it feels like a relationship is either pending or coming back together. Let's take a look at what you need to know about um, what's on the horizon for you. Let's determine where we disagree and come to a common understanding so we can move forward. I chose this deck because I felt like this is a return, especially with doing what's right. Someone may want to correct a situation. They've been doing a lot of thinking about what they want to say to you. How can we shorten the distance between us? I'm opening myself up to love. I want you to hold my tender heart in the palm of your hands and accept me for who I am. Ascending, my soul has awakened. I'm realizing there's a higher purpose in my life. The door has been opened and I'm willingly walking through it. Wow. What is Spirit's advice for you regarding this connection? What is deeply meaningful to you and why? And I feel like there's a self-evaluation happening, maybe, maybe by them, maybe by you. And um, you don't want to repeat the past. Maybe you have refactored what's important to you. We must be accountable for what we bring to a situation. This invites total ownership for cleaning up your side of the street. Wow. If this is a relationship coming back together, what does Libra need to know about this? <laughs> Spirit's trying to get your attention. <coughs> Excuse me, meditate and contemplate. Have faith in your dreams. Don't lose faith. All right, Libra. There you have it. I'm going to leave it there.